Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am gonna do a little craft with me video, I think here. Um, I'm gonna make some envelopes out of this, this uh, Peter Rabbit book. I'm working on some little golden book journals and so I thought um, I might do that. Um, there's wonderful, wonderful illustrations in here and they will make really cute envelopes, I think. So, um, I have, <laughs> I've pulled off the inside cover of the book because it's got this cute little, cute little um, illustration on it. And first thing I think I'm going to do is I am going to back it because otherwise it's got, it's got this. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I want to, I think I'm just going to use an Uhu stick and get that on there and then it can sit and dry and you know and be ready for be ready for an envelope once we get get done with this process so um yeah there's also an illustration on the back and so i'm going to try try to get that one off too i did pretty well i have a little tear but i think i can i can work around it um when making the envelope, you know. And um, I know there were some of you who had asked for a tutorial on using the envelope maker anyway. So I thought this will kind of kill two birds with one stone. I can make my envelopes, but also show you how I make my envelopes. Okay, so that is, that's on there, I think good enough. I might need to put a little glue under the corners at some point, but I think the picture itself is on there, which is good because I might cut this off and use the text in something else. So, okay, so let's get to making the envelopes and maybe I'll just, I'll just make film making one probably, but um, I'm going to I'm going to make envelopes out of all of these pages and they're good and thick so I think they're going to be awesome that way. Um, I'm going to grab my paper cutter. Let's see, we'll put this under there. Let me grab my paper cutter and we'll um, cut it down to size. I've already kind of measured it and it's about seven and a half this way. So I'm going to go set seven and a half by seven and a half and that is going to make me a three by six envelope. So I think that will be great for the little gone books. I think, let me just measure a cover and make sure the six won't be too big. Hmm. Well, it's gonna be close. So let me take a relook at this. So seven, seven and an eighth will make it um, three by five and a half. That half inch should be good. I think we'll go seven and an eighth just to make sure that it fits in the book. I'm glad I looked at that at the time. Usually that's not what would have happened. Usually I would have made them and then they wouldn't have fit in the, fit in the book and I would have had to use them in something else. But okay, so let's do this. Let's go seven and a quarter, seven. Let's see, seven and a quarter, seven and an eighth. So right here, that way, and then this way, I'm going to be right about there. Okay, I'm going to cut the bottom off first so I can save the text. So, okay, so we'll have that little piece will be extra. And then we're going to go down this way and do seven and an eighth. And then we're going to cut out just 
crisp edging. Okay. All right. So now our piece of paper is ready. Okay. So we're going to just then take our little um, envelope maker. Mine is a stamping up. I know memory keep it's actually made by we are memory keepers so so and i know they we are memory keepers has their own as well so okay so what i try and think about is what do i want for my flap which is probably this so um i'm going to put it in like this so uh seven and an eighth it says at two and three quarters is where we need to line this up right here. So I've got two and three quarters. So we're going to line that up and I'm just seeing where that, that puts us, I guess. Yeah. I don't want the farmer. I want the bunnies seven or what did I say? Two and three quarters, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. So we just score down the side and I punch at the same time. And then I always have to kind of hold it up to the light and you line up that first score line with this little pokey outy thing. <laughs> it's not exactly an arrow. It's just a pokey out a piece of plastic. So um, then I just go all the way around. And... And it's just, my lighting is not the best in my craft room. So I just kind of have to do that. And then back here, you can put the flap in and it, um, it does the rounding. I need to do some tin foil in there to get that sharpened up a little. It's starting to get not sharp. So next step is just fold it and to get it glued. So super cute, right? Look how the bunny peeks out of the flap. That is adorable. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so what I usually use on my envelopes is the fast grab tacky glue just because... Um, then once I folded it, it, it grabs it right away. So there we go there. And then we just fold it up and give it a press. And we've got one ready. I think that's a good size too for the little golden book pages. So I really like that. Okay. Sweet. So let's see how our piece is doing that we, I think it's good. Let's, let's get this one ready and let's do this one since it's something a little different where I'm kind of trying to, um, reclaim that inside page. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I, I want to do a little more gluing on this envelope. It gives a, a little bit too much of an edge just going to the one edge of the those one flaps. Okay, I'm just going to do that a little bit better. Okay. Cool. So, okay, so we're going to once again do the seven and an eight thing. Let's see. And then seven and an eighth over here. Ooh, I think we're gonna maybe just miss the part that tore, so that's awesome. Okay, so we'll give this a little cut on this one. I'm 
can happen to eyeball if that's straight because I wasn't super particular about how straight I put the, put the backing on. So, okay, so there's good scrap. Okay, let's see how this does with the, um, yes, it's going to miss the torn part. That's perfect. Okay. And, and we're going to go down this way. Just take that off so that this can be used. Waste not, want not, right? We just use just about everything. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit Differ because it's two pieces of paper together, but I think it's going to be okay. So, once again, I think we want to go right here, two and three quarters. Give this a little harder press since there's two thicknesses to go through. Okay, good, it's punching okay. I was wondering if it was going to. Yeah, I actually would have loved to have had somebody show me how to use this envelope maker when I first got it, but um, then I had a crafting time with some friends, and my friend Catherine was the one who showed me how to do it, and I went crazy making envelopes for a while. I actually still have some in my stash that I use in journals every once in a while from from the big batch that I made. Oh boy, okay, it's not loving going through those two thicknesses. Let's see how the rounder does. Oh, it did okay. Almost seems like it likes the thicker. So, okay, so I think, okay, we've got a little bit right there that needs to be glued down, but I didn't, rather than the glue stick, I think I'm just going to try and get it with this glue. That's where the tear was. So I've got that. Yeah. And then this one will just be, just have the patterned paper on the inside. Ooh, right? Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, so let's see if I can do a better job of gluing this this time. So I don't have to go back and do it again. Okay, whoop. All right. Well, that's happy. We salvaged the one. Look at those. They're so cute. I think they're adorable. Okay. So that's two. Look at that one came out slightly different size. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll tell you why. It's because Gail did it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So, how are we doing time-wise, and do I have anything to talk about? Well, you know, we've got 14 minutes. I think we're probably good. Um, I'll try and come back with some stuff. I'm making two of these, uh, two of these little golden books are for custom orders, but I'm making, what am I making, three extras. So, I'll be back at some point to show you, to show you what I'm doing, probably, and if not before, I will definitely be doing a, a video when they're all done. So um, it's fun, fun to make envelopes with you. And I'm just going to continue on here for a little while. But everybody have a great day. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.